YouTubers, what's going on? All right, we on the new page, Billy Blast Custom Upholstery. So today, what we're going to talk about is the upgrade version of this model right here. This is what I started out with. You know, it did me right, you know, as far as practicing my lines and, you know, new stitches and lock stitch and, and all that other stuff. You know what I mean? So I'm definitely not... Uh, taking a dump on this, you know what I'm saying, I'm, I appreciate it, you know what I'm saying, the time we spent together and all that, you know what I mean, the late nights and all that, but, you know, it was time to move on, so, from this one, we come here, this is my console 205RB1, now, it won't the best, you know, on the market or nothing like that, but I figure, you know, they like cars, you know what I'm saying? Like, when you get to a certain status, like, let's say BMW, you get a Mercedes, Audi, they all luxury cars, you know what I'm saying? They all pretty much do the same thing. It's it's pretty much uh, preference of brand after that, you know what I'm saying? But I chose the console because in my first video, I told you, people be tight-lipped with what they using and all that other stuff. So, you know, when people drop videos, I pay real close attention, right? I might freeze the frame and zoom in on it, you know what I'm saying? Be on the background, you know what I'm saying? Trying to get into it, you know what I'm saying? No, I don't work for the CIA, the feds, none of that, you know what I'm saying? I'm just trying to evolve myself because people won't tell you nothing, you know what I'm saying? So I seen this, this old machine on another YouTube page, YouTuber's page, you know what I'm saying? That do great work, you know what I'm saying? I'll go ahead and shout them out, Stitch by Slick. He do great work, you know what I'm saying? And he was doing one of his uh, Whip of the Week videos, and he was going through his little shop. And I seen the sewing machine, right? You know what I mean? So that's the brand I stuck with, you know what I'm saying? That's why I got this. But it's not necessarily the same model he got. I don't know what he got. I couldn't zoom in all that all the way like that, you know what I'm saying? But to start your upholstery, you're going to have to get something like this. And I just use the table it came with. Most people, they add on, you know, another part of, you know, they build up on the table, you know what I'm saying, with some plywood and, you know, make it like a four by eight section, you know what I'm saying, when you saw them real big things. I haven't got to the point where it affect me, this table affects me like that, you know what I'm saying, with the size, because, first of all, I had to uh, modify one of the rooms to have this sold place because this sewing thing, I ain't gonna say it was an afterthought, but it came after the mechanic part, after the paint, after the body work, you know what I'm saying? So while I was having, trying to get room for all those projects, you know what I'm saying? I didn't have any room for the sew. So I made a sew room, you know what I'm saying? But this video is for the basic essentials if you're gonna start sewing. So, you know, you can start with this. It's not a problem. But you're going to have to evolve. Let's say this is like a, a Jigster 600. You ride it for about six months. You know, you get good with it. And you ready to go to the booster. Even though I'm not a Suzuki man, I'm a cow man all day. You know what I'm saying? So let me take that back. You start with a ZX6. And then you go back to the H2 or the 1400. You know what I'm saying? I put it, that analogy out there for you. So this is my 1400. So I'm going I'm to hold this for a minute. You know what I'm saying? Because it's basically what I need to do what I got to do. Now all I got to do is add accessories and stuff like that to it. Uh, what I did, you know, first I put some lines so I know where I got eight quarter, half inch. You know what I'm saying? Half inches for the seam allowance. But what I really should have did was got a new plate that screw up here with the lines on it already. And I probably will do that in the near future. But for the most part, I get this right here. And I put it on my half inch and I just run the fabric through until, you know, I get my strategy better. You know what I'm saying? So that's that's how I'm starting with my straight lines. You know what I'm saying? But um We'll get into all that later on. I'm just want to show you the essentials. So you might need a a, a guide. You know what I'm saying? 
and it's really just a magnetic plate that stick to the base of your uh, sewing machine. See, the the cheaper ones, you know, the magnet, it don't stick real tight. You know, this one, it stick pretty tight, but it still will sway on you, you know, if you ain't careful. So you got, you know, that's why I also put the lines to make sure it don't be like this or be like that or, you know what I'm saying, shift on me in any kind of way. So if you start now, you probably definitely need one of these, you know what I'm saying, at the minimum. Now, come over here, doing a poster, you definitely going to need thread. You know what I'm saying? You order your machine, you're going to get bobbins. I will get some extra bobbins and uh, uh, the bobbin holder. You know what I'm saying? Uh, which goes, the the bobbin goes in the bottom, bob, bobbin holder, and then you put it in the sewing machine on the bottom. And I'll get into that in a second, too. All right, you see staplers all right. So I use the staplers to staple the fabric together. I had some basting tape, which is double-sided tape that's really strong. You know what I'm saying? And uh, the dog got into the basting tape, man, and had tape all over him. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So uh, I try to keep this room locked down, but, you know, I be having intruders from time to time, and he tore the tape. So I can't show you the basting tape, but basically it's double-sided tape, and... It does the same thing the staples does, but you don't got to remove it, you know what I mean? Because really, it's, it's it's hard to remove the basing tape. But, um, so I use staplers as a sub substitute, and that's what I'll be using for a while because he ate my tape. All right, so right here, you need to mark on your fabric. You know what I'm saying? They got pencils. This way. General so scribe all all surface pencil. Now this is what I use to draw my patterns and stuff out. I started using uh fabric markers and all that other stuff. A lot of fabric markers they stain the fabric. You know what I'm saying? So you want something that you know will stay long enough so you see the pattern, but you don't want it to be there after you make your cuts and sew it. You know what I'm saying? That's bad business. All right, with the pencils came the sharpener, of course. You need extra needles for what you're doing. If you buy your machine new, they're going to give you a couple extra needles. You know what I'm saying? That'll last you for a little while. Uh, scissors. I got the heaviest duty pair of scissors I got. I got them from Walmart. These are like fishers, I believe, and they like $20. So it ain't like a, a whole bunch of money. This is the seam ripper. Now, this right here is going to be your most valuable friend when you first start now and your stitches come out wrong and you want to pop them stitches and that's what this is right here i use it in a unorthodox method you know what i'm saying i put it in on the stitch and i just slide that mud through you know what i'm saying it, it's just less time consuming but if you be careful you know you won't rip the fabric or nothing or stretch it you know what i mean a lot of muds just you know pop the stitch it take forever um so these right here is some little essentials. Let me come over here. So I use this when I wanna uh, cut small pieces of pattern, you know what I'm saying? Or anything like that, you know what I'm saying? Especially when I'm using my embroidery machine and I'm gonna touch bases on that in a little while. But coming over here, you got basting tape, then you got binding tape. Now, whenever you do a uh, French seam, a lot of times you can put this behind the seam to strengthen it. You know what I'm saying? The only color I got right now is black because I'm really just starting out. You know what I'm saying? So, when I was doing my French seam, I was using a black uh, material. So, I went with black. You know what I'm saying? And really, uh, the basing tape is good. But... You can, I mean, the binder tape is good, but you can go without the binder tape if you set your sewing machine thread to be a little bit tighter. You know what I'm saying? Um, I go on that later on, too. This right here is my stabilizer. I use this for the embroidery machine, but this is not essential to sewing. This is something else. So, basically, you're going to need a sewing machine. Oh, my bad. Look, I forgot this. This is my pattern cutter. You know what I'm saying? I use this in conjunction with the scissors 
depending on the pattern. I mean, not pattern, but the kind of fabric it is, because you can just pop the blade, boom, and just roll that mug. And it make it kind of easy. You know what I'm saying? Um, let's see. What else we got? Basically, that would be the, the startup kit. You know what I'm saying? And then, if you're doing uh, upholstery like seats, you're going to need foam. So, I got all kind of foam. You know what I'm saying? I got, uh, shoot, quarter inch, half inch, two inch. I got denim because you're going to need something strong to hold the seats. Um, like, on the back. Like, when you clamping, uh, when using the, the hog nose. Oh, you're going to need some hog nose clippers. Some hog nose rings. Um, what else? I got top foam over here. Uh, I think that's eighth and a quarter inch. You know what I'm saying? So, I got a little bit of fabric down here. A lot of the stuff I keep outside uh, because the room's so small. You know what I'm saying? I really only keep essentials in here enough that I can do what I need to do in here. You know what I'm saying? If it's something else, I take it out. But those are the essentials you're going to need if you're thinking about doing some upholstery. Without it, I mean, you just, you're not doing upholstery, man. You know what I'm saying? It just is what it is. But um, next video dropping real quick. I'm going to show you the embroidery machine and what software or program I use to run it. YouTubers, I appreciate each and every one of you. Let's grow together. Won't stop, won't quit. Holla at me. Peace.